Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. And if you're a new subscriber, thanks very much for uh, subscribing. I appreciate it. So if you're anything like me, you, you need to go fishing or you just go bat, bat shit crazy. Uh, sometimes though in the winter, especially in England here, um, the weather's not very great. And when you turn up, the river can be quite high and coloured. So this fly is a little... Um, I'd say streamer, but it's not a streamer really. It's like a flashy bug, if you like. But um, it does work well in high and coloured waters. So I'm going to share the pattern with you today. In the vice is a Hanak competition. It's a H490. This is the jig trophy hook. And it is a heavy wired, quite a weight, wide gate jig hook. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas. This is the 80. And it's a bright orange thread. E16 it is, if you're interested. And first thing to do then is to cast on my thread after giving it a good wax. Push your bead right up, round, round the bend of the jig. And catch that in. And I like to just build on a little on-ramp here, as I do with most of my jig flies. Just to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm going to bring that to the back of the hook, just to about to where the barb would be. Take away my waist. And for the tail, I'm going to use a little bit of black marabou here. And not a, not a great deal. So I'm going to use my thumb as a guide, and I'm going to take about the width of a thumbnail. Going to remove this waste bit here. Just do that off camera into the bucket. And I'll catch that in all the way up. Now I've taken, you noticed I'm maybe taking my marabou tail all the way back up to the bead. That's just to give me a nice even body. So I'm going to remove the bit of tail I don't want at this point. And I want to just remove a little bit more than that. Not much, just a little. There we go. And it's still not right. Sorry, bear with me. There we go. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to the tail. Now, this clump I've got in my hand here, sorry I don't have the packet anymore, but this is called Angel Hair. And it's a very fine mix of gold and pearl fibres. So I'm just going to take two or three fibres and I'm going to catch that in on my side with a couple of turns straighten it all out so I can go up another turn, white open turns I just want to catch this in then I'm going to bring it round to your side and then come all the way back down the bottom of the fly. Now where I've pinched my marabou, I'm going to do the same with this angel here. It is very, very light material, so it will just pinch away for you, like so. Okay, next thing then is I'm going to add a hackle to this fly. Now I've used a grizzle cape here and I've already taken a feather off and there's a good reason I've pre-selected the feather because I've already done a bit of work. Um, before I started the video just to save time so all I've done is I've taken the feather I've opened it up with my fingers like so and then you'll notice I have stripped out one side yep because I don't want the um, the palmer to be too heavy so I can catch that in at the tip like so and then I can just come in and remove this little bit of waste here. Some erroneous fibres, just going to get rid of. So I've got my palmer all ready to go. I'm going to just come all the way up, catching any loose ends, and then all the way back to the bottom here. Now, the body of the fly, 
I'm going to use uh, some gold holographic and I've already taken a little piece of that off which I have here so I'm going to catch that in like so on my side then just bring it all the way up to the bead like that and then I'm going to simply wind on my gold underbody. Now once I've come up to the top I will check that I have covered all the orange. You want to make sure you've covered the lot. So I'll put just a couple of turns in there and I turn in behind to lock it in place. Then if I lo loosen my vise, I can just check that I've covered that body. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to remove the uh, the gold with my scalpel here. And I'm just going to catch that fibre that's just poking out there annoyingly then just a little couple of turns to tidy make sure it's secure next thing then is you'll notice i haven't tied in a wired rib on this because i'm going to use some uv resin and this is the solaris which is going to secure my palmer to the fly so i'll just catch that in on both sides just take your time make sure you get coated all round try not to get any on your heat tip point and if you have it's a good idea to take that off while it's wet okay now with my palmer I want to try and bring up nice and carefully even turns all the way up the fly to just behind the bead once I've done that I can catch that in a couple of turns catch it in and then a turn or two in front of the bead. Now I'm just going to turn my vise so that I can remove the waste here. Then before I do anything else I've got to cure my resin. So I'm just going to come in with my torch and what this does, it locks that palmer into place without the use or need of uh, a wire rib. Now as far as the fly is concerned, what, what I've got here is a fly that's going to give me lots of movement in the water. The black's going to make it stand out in the darker water as the river's um, rising or dropping as the case may be and the sparkle is going to give a glint of life which will attract fish so I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger slick everything back and what I want to do next is build a little collar with my thread. It's a nice hot orange and I'm just going to catch all that. Then to finish the fly off I'm going to use a bit of UV on the thread, fairly generous with it. And then Um, 
If you're of a mind to, you can whip finish. And if you can't use a whip finish tool for loving their money, you can hand finish. So I can then come in with my snips, take that waste away, and cure the end. Make sure it's nice and dry. And this is best fished on a Frenchie and just jigged back towards yourself. So in the margins, you don't want to get in the river if it's not safe. Rising river, stay on the bank, but you can still have quite a bit of sport in the margins jigging this back and forth. There we go. It's a, it's a, it hasn't got a name. It's just a little streamer bug, I suppose. But um, it will do you a good job in high or dirty water. Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying the channel, please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. That's how to do it.